Okay, we're on day 58. This is day 58 today of her pregnancy. According to the estimation that the vet gave us when he palpated her um, on the 21st, he said she was 35 days long, give or take. <clears throat> so, you know, it's a it's an estimated due date um, of the 18th being day 63, which is, that's as far as they're supposed to go, only up to 63 days. Um, so today's 58. How you doing, mamas? How you doing? Yeah, you're just ready. Oh, you're just ready. I'm ready too. I'm ready to see some babies. I'm ready to see those babies. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. Yeah. I can sort of feel them wiggling sometimes. She doesn't have a very big litter. Like I said, it's probably only like three babies, but I can sometimes feel them moving. Sometimes it's just her breathing. <laughs> yeah, but she let me touch and love and rub. She wants all the snuggles, all the affection. She is super, super affectionate while she's pregnant. She's very sweet anyway in general, but extra, extra affectionate while she's pregnant. She wants all the loves. And she wants me to be in here, in her bed with her. So being on puppy watch is, uh, uh, I don't want to say stressful. It's not stressful, but I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm ready. I've been pu on puppy watch for the past few days thinking, I thought she would go early, y'all. I really did. She was showing uh, signs and she was nesting. She was heavy breathing sometimes and sometimes not. And I really thought, you know, she might go into early labor because like I said, she wasn't uh, in the greatest of health when we found her. Um, so I don't know how this is going to go, but here we are day 58. So she'll probably at least make it to day 60, if not day 63, but we are in the final five days. So any day now, guys, any day now. Got her little tooties propped up on the cage. Yeah, I guess that's comfy for her. Teats are filling up a little bit with milk. They're not uh, coming out yet. They're not expressing milk quite yet. Maybe in a day or two. She's so tired. Yeah, we're going to take care of you, Mama. Good morning, good morning, big family. Today is Monday, Martin Luther King Day. Happy federal holiday, guys. Happy Martin Luther King. Me and Dory are out walking, walking, as is Moo Moo and Winston. 
but they kind of self-regulate. They walk by themselves as long as somebody's out here with them. Little Dory, she has a tendency to uh, wander. <laughs> she follows her little nose to wherever she's going or wherever she thinks she's going. <laughs> so you have to put her on the little leash. She's so cute. I love walking Dory. And Momo's a dream. And you're good too, Stin Stin. You're good too, little Winnie Stin. My Dory baby is doing so much better, y'all. Just a quick update on her. She's eating more. Her appetite has increased. Um, her coat looks better. Um, all of her fleas and ticks are gone. She's just a happy puppy. Like, she feels better at night. She's getting her brushings and her snugglings and her lovings. And she sleeps a lot during the day on her soft doggy bed. And she's enjoying her retirement. She really is. She's a much happier puppy than the one I found soggy and sad in the rain that day. She's a very different puppy now. And I love it. I love it. Hi, huh, Moo Moo. You can tell her how good the retirement is. You can vouch for that, huh? Moo Moo loves her couch. <laughs> oh, gotta go potty. So today's gonna be another vet visit, guys. I know, I go to the vet pretty often. He knows my face, he sees me a lot, I know. Um, but I'm taking three particular dogs in today. I'm taking little Livy. Little Olivia has to have her second round of parvo shots. It's time, she's due for those. So she's gotta go back in and have those. I'm also gonna take my biscuit, my biscuit basket baby. Uh, my dog, the one that's officially mine. Um, cause last night and this morning, she had something going on with her eye. It's like her left eye is like weeping and red. And I think she may have got something in her eye that she can't quite get out. I didn't see anything. I've uh, wiped her eyes with the soft doggy eye wipes. Um, I just, I, I can't figure out what's, what's bothering her about her eye. So we're going to take her in today to be seen along with Livy baby getting her shots. And the third dog I'm taking along with me is a three is probably my limit guys of dogs I can take in. But the third dog is going to be Ellie, the pregnant mama. So today is day 60 guys. It's day 60 of the pregnancy. And you know, dog pregnancy only goes 63 days. So it's gonna be any day now. She could go literally any time now. I've been on baby watch. I've been on puppy watch for the past week. I've been taking her temperature twice a day. We've got her birthing area ready, all the things that we could possibly be prepared for. But I wanna take her in today just, just for my peace of mind is really all it is. It's just so that he can check her <laughs> and look her over, make sure everything looks good, make sure the pregnancy is, is coming along the way it should. Maybe he could give me an idea of how close she is to giving birth. Um, I'm bouncing the idea back and forth in my head of the, if it's worth it to do like a x-ray or an ultrasound to have a look at those babies. To, you know, just to make sure nothing's going wrong developmentally. All the puppies are put together well. <laughs> They've been baked really well in the oven. And, uh, you know, we're not going to have any surprises. Um, maybe you can tell me how many there are for sure. Uh, you know, things like that. So I'm trying to weigh the cost of that to see if maybe I should ask him and, and I'm going to talk to him about it. I'm going to ask him what he thinks and if he thinks it's worth it, if he thinks I should do it at this point or we should check on her or if something seems off, then we're definitely going to do it. Um, but if he thinks everything's fine, if he palpates her and everything looks good and she's doing any day now and there's no reason to suspect anything anything different, then um, we'll just go home and wait it out, you know? But those are the three dogs I'm taking to the vet today, so wish me luck. So I decided to sneak the rest of my cheeseburger to little Dory. I got her some cheeseburger, yeah. Have you ever had cheeseburger before? I decided she might like some cheeseburger, so I ate about three quarters of it and I gave the last quarter to my Dory. She is chowing down on this burger. <laughs> That's a happy girl. Yeah, that's called cheeseburger. Ooh. Dogs are coming. Is it good? Oh, everybody's jealous now. Everybody's like, where's my cheeseburger? Where's my cheeseburger? This is for Dory. This is special. Y'all hear the sound she's making too? She's going, oh. nom, 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 nom. <laughs> and I'm going to change all this bedding. I'm going to change this blanket for her after she gets it all messy. But, oh, that's a happy girl. That was good, wasn't it, baby? Oh, that was good. Oh, nom, nom, nom. Yeah, lick those lips. That's a cheeseburger, yeah. Maybe I'll sneak you one next week, too. You need some fat on your little butt. You need some weight on you. You do, you need extra cheese. We're here, Biscuit Baby. 
We're here, biscuit basket. <laughs> so here I am with Ellie in the back. Um, I got little Livy in a tiny cage, um, big enough for her to lay down in, but I, I am going to pull her out of the cage and where all three, all three dogs are going to walk on a leash, but me, Biscuit, Ellie, and Livy are here at the vet. So um, let's one by one do this. We got one for an eye, you know, checkup to look at her eye, one for Parvo baby shots, and one for pregnancy checkup just to make sure she's coming along well. So let's we'll see how this goes. Ellie's so excited. Biscuit's unsure. <laughs> and poor Olivia's nervous and crying a little bit. She keeps like getting up, pacing, laying down, getting up, pacing, laying down. And Ellie already peed on their floor one time and I had to clean it up real quick. <laughs> Good job, Ellie. All my babies. Yeah, he'll come in soon to see you. He'll be in here real soon and give everybody their checkup. We got small, medium, and large today. <laughs> The whole crew. Okay, 10 minutes later, they're all settling. They're all looking sleepy. Except for Ellie, who's right by my side. She's the little nervous Ellie Nelly. <laughs> I don't blame you, baby. I'd be nervous too. I'd be a nervous wreck if I was about to give birth. It's okay. But they're all kind of calming down, settling down. Any minute now. So, funny story, uh, <laughs> the vet has examined Ellie and determined that, you know, it was a, it was an estimation the first time he met her when we found her, when she was halfway through her pregnancy already. Um, he gave an educated guess, like an estimation on how many days along she was. Well, it, you know, it's a give or take thing and it's, it's a guessing game. And apparently he was about two weeks off, you know, um, Judging by how she is now, he like he reassessed her, checked her belly, checked her mammary gland, the glands, and he said that um, we're probably about two weeks out from birth, so we're not as close as I thought, guys. Dang it. So I'm just going to have to wait. I'm just going to have to be patient. I know it's not my strong suit, but I'm going to have to try, because apparently we got a couple more weeks to wait. Ellie Belly is not ready. So I, I don't need to be checking her temperature twice a day anymore. Um, it's good that I have her nesting area all set up and her whelping area and she loves it and she's very used to it. That's a good thing. Um, hopefully she has gotten it in her mind that that's where she's going to have her puppies. Uh, but yeah, just two weeks, not too long. I can, I can hold out for two weeks. I can wait. On Biscuit, he gave me some good uh, eye ointment that I can use for her to clear up whatever this is. He didn't see anything in her eye. He didn't see a scratch on her eye. Nothing like that. So she must have some sort of uh, conjunctivitis or something going on. So he gave me an ointment that should clear it up. Um, if it doesn't, obviously I'll be back to see what else we can do. And then little puppy Olivia had her second round of parvo shots. So all is well. We had great checkups and great news on all of them. Even though the news is that I have to wait, that's still that's still really good news. I'll take it. He said everything seems fine. He can feel the puppies. Everything seems to be coming along well. Um, there's no reason for alarm. There's no issues. Um, that's all I want. I don't care about anything else. I just want a healthy, safe delivery. This is going to be Ellie's last litter and then she's getting fixed. She's uh, too old to be having puppies anyway. I'm sure she was accidentally bred by a stray. Uh, I'm sure. Um, but this is definitely going to be her last litter of her life and then we're going to have her fixed. So on home I go to take the three babies home to get some rest and to help Wes with whatever he's got going on. What'd y'all find, guys? What'd Giant you find? Giant icicles. <laughs> that is beautiful. I'm going to get a bucket and collect some. Okay. They're huge. <laughs> nice. That's beautiful. Very nice. Just trying to get some of this trash burned, guys. Some of this paper trash and box trash while I can. While it's still not quite too cold for me to be out here. <laughs> Plus, the fire keeps me warm, and I love it. Toasty little fire while I wait for this to burn down and just make sure it doesn't catch anything. I don't want it to catch on fire because there are dry weeds and stuff around here. Oh, that feels so good. That's so warm. Here in a minute, it'll be too cold and I'll have to go back inside. Have you ever seen four dogs trying to drink out of the same water? It's pretty chaotic. <laughs> Guys, the water isn't going anywhere. 
One at a time, people. Yeah, give give the other some room, guys. One, oh, come on. Biscuit. It's okay, Biscuit. Daddy will be home in just a minute. One at a time, guys. One at a time. My biscuit basket. Yeah, you're a good girl. Thank you for sharing and waiting your turn. <laughs> Almost done, guys? That's a good biscuit. Y'all make a mess out of all this food. Y'all really do. Y'all make a mess. Good babies. I love you. Good babies. Y'all, she sleeps so good. That's what she does for most of the day. She sleeps and sleeps peacefully. She's such a good baby. So easy to, easy to take care of, easy to love. I love watching her sleep. Yeah, so kind of disappointing that we have to wait a couple more weeks, but you know, what's a couple more weeks? So it's okay. We're going to be on baby watch for a little while longer. And in the meantime, we get to do some more projects, start some more things to take care of all the other fur babies because we now have 10 of them. So that's a lot of fur babies to take care of. That's not even counting the cats or our children. <laughs> so they sure keep us busy. So I will keep y'all updated and posted um, along the way. It won't be long until you're going to see those cute little teeny tiny baby Ellie puppies. <laughs> Love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.